And so usually with a smoker, all you do is you just, you know, give them a little bit, and apparently they have these pheromones, and they can use them to sort of signal alarm. They're very scent-driven creatures, and so the smoke interferes with their ability to send alarm signals to each other. So the hive knows, first of all, how healthy their queen is, that they have, and if there's a problem with the queen, then they will start to think about um, creating more queen cells, and basically any um, cell can become a queen cell. Any egg can become a queen cell you for like the first like, come together two or three days. Uh, so if we even do gather honey this first year, it wouldn't be until the fall. And my, oh, there's the queen. It's always so fantastic to see her. It's like, yay! That's amazing. Hi, little look lady. Yeah, yeah she's speedy. Jeez. And, and actually, okay, you saw her, right? Yeah. yeah. Is that good? Well, you good. Yeah. I know it all sounds really, when I first got into beekeeping, I thought it was all so weird and eccentric. And, um, you know, beekeepers call them my girls, regardless of whether beekeepers are men or women. And, and they're very they're very affectionate the way they talk about them. But then there's also all this, like, royal terminology. And it's just really funny. But her retinue will sometimes gather around her. And they're feeding her and, like, stroking her and basically making sure everything's good. And so sometimes you can figure out where she is by just... Often they'll be, like, all facing towards her. And just, like, you know, there's, like, a little circle of bees all around her head. Um, and you can see where she is from there.